Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Jain Google. So till now we have learned this function function based view. So I think it's right time to start with class based view and show you the difference. Okay, so we can create class view using generics, generic views which comes with Django by default. So to import that we will do from let me first you know make my font uh, bigger so you can read it okay so ja from django dot views import generics okay now if i will press ctrl and click on generic then you can see this has many type of classes over here many type many types of view so create view is used to create any particular uh, data i mean to create and enter the data in the database update view is used to update the content basically put request create has uh, create view has get and post request this has only put request delete view means uh, um, a delete request right list view will only accept the um, get request okay and there are more other views now i will just close this and i will first start with our blog underscore home i will just comment this function okay now here i will create class blog underscore home and here i will pass generic dot list sorry list view because in home page we are only fetching data from the database right we don't want to give any post request or update request from the home page only simply we are fetching the data from the database so we are going to do only get request so how do i know that i this list view takes only get request so if you will click on this uh, press control and click on this list view and here you can see inherits two methods right so if you will go to base list view press control and click here then you can see it has only one method which is get it don't has get or post request okay so i will just close that and here i will pass my model equals to the blog okay remember don't change this variable for model it will be only model variable okay and if we want to assign template then we we have template underscore name you must follow the variable convention this name should be same otherwise it will give an error so i will just copy this part and paste it over here okay this is ready now if i will save and i will go to urls.py after adding after creating class based view always you need to pass at the end s underscore view otherwise it will give an error i will show you the error so you will get better idea i will just save this i will run my server python manage.py run server okay i will go to the link now here you can see that it has given as the error like here they are showing that blog underscore home should have the as underscore view parameter so i will just pass that parameter right and if i will save then my server will start running you can see it has started now here we are getting all the data but we are not able to see that in our home blog underscore home dot html file because we are not passing here the context variable right but Django do pass object underscore list so we will just go here in main and blog underscore home dot html so here we are looking for blogs right which we pass from here now we need to pass only object underscore list save this come over here refresh i think it's objects refresh it's not showing okay my list spelling sorry 
save this now you can see it's per working perfectly okay you need to pass object underscore list if you are looping through this uh, data now i will just close this now i will go for the log detail page okay now here i will just remove this first of all profile because we already created a profile page in authors so i will just remove that i will go in urls and i will also remove this now good okay so here i will also do one thing this is also taking the get method but it is detailed view right so i will just comment here and class blog underscore detail generic dot detail view detail view now why we are using this detail view because this method is going to contain the data only for one object okay here we were passing the queries matching queries right it will automatically detect it will detect according to slug or the pk means primary key if you will click press ctrl and click on this detail view and base detail view then you can see it has the um, get method but it will only take single object single object and it will show us the data okay it works like this you can see it has single object mixing right jo i will just uh, close that file and i will say model um, equals to blog and then here i will say template underscore name i'll just copy and paste and i will just remove this home and write detail save this go to urls.py here i will write as underscore view now here we will get error but i will show you which error we will get if i will click on read underscore read more button then you can see it it is giving us error that generic detail view blog underscore detail must called with either an object pk or a slug in url config means in we are getting error in url now here you don't need to give url underscore sorry slug underscore url because it is searching for variable slug only so if i remove this underscore url save it come over here refresh then you can see we got the detail page either if you are passing integer then you need to give pk if you are passing string then you need to give slug only other if you will give other any name then it will show you error definitely okay that is the convention of the generic view so you can differentiate the number of lines right we completed this within three lines and it whereas function be, function based view is taking more lines okay so this is the power of class based view in django okay okay so i will just remove comment this not remove i will create class i will copy this contact us name i will pass create view now so create sorry generics dot create view and here i will give form class so here we don't need model because we are not querying any particular object okay we are directly uh, passing the form as you can see here so i'll give form underscore class equals to contact form okay and here i will say template underscore name which will be main slash contact us dot html okay i will put this in double quotes and if this data is filled successfully then i will pass success underscore url which will go to home 
right so here while you are passing the form in class based view you must give variable as form underscore class again i am repeating if you are passing template to class based view you must give template underscore name and if you are redirecting after the successful um the successful request then you need to pass success underscore url if you want to redirect the particular uh, web page okay this is it i will go to the website and just refresh okay we have error what's the error okay i will go to views dot sorry urls dot py and i will say dot s view save this come over here refresh contact us okay if okay so i will just open my admin panel first go to contact us okay we are having this object one object two object three let me go to models dot py and here i will just pass string i will just copy this function paste that i will remove this block and i will write first name plus last underscore name something like this self dot last name s e self okay cool save this come over here refresh okay now i got this okay now i will try to post with some different name i will say um, admin 100 and i'll say patel okay i will give an email id admin at the rate admin dot com i'll say one two three four five six seven eight nine the number i will just type a random message and submit come over here refresh you can see we got the entry here because here we have passed the create view okay so within three line we have sorry within four line actually we created the facility which directly enters the data from html to the database right so i hope you got the idea of class based view in django right so yeah this video is going pretty long so in next video we will move to authors folder and in views.py we will convert this whole the all this function based view to generic views generic class based view for of the django and then we will proceed further so this is it for today's video guys if you have any doubt please comment down below or you can reach out to me on instagram okay i will be happy to help you guys and uh, if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in next one thank you